All right, y'all, we're going to keep the show going. The next comedian hails from Atlanta, Georgia, the self-proclaimed thickest in Atlanta. She's originally from Miami. Y'all show some love. TikTok creator, Mel Mitchell! How y'all doing? So happy to be here in LA. My period came on this month, praise God. Won't he do it? Won't he will? <laughs> Ladies, has your period ever been late? And you put a pad on, some muscle memory, make it come down. <laughs> we got some real bitches in the audience tonight. So we make sure. I don't know if it's magnetism or what, but that shit works, okay? Because I'm scared of getting pregnant. I'll be on TikTok. And the TikTok mommies will tell you every fucking thing. Look, do you know that your uterus can fall out your booty hole when you have a baby? It got quiet. Yes, bitch, it's true. Look it up. It's the most terrifying thing I've ever heard in my life. Also, ladies, do you know that, we are learning this evening, that breast milk can harden in your breasts and go all the way up your underarm? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Exactly. Won't that make you be abstinent? <laughs> <laughs> Not me, though. Um, it still ain't. <laughs> Not enough to make me stop hunching, but I do think about it sometimes, because uh, it's hard. Because, you know, these days, birth control is organized by weight class for efficiency. You know what I'm saying? If you lightweight, you good. But once you get to heavyweight territory, kiss all that goodbye. You know what I'm saying? And it was hard for me because, like, I was once not a heavyweight. But once you get into heavyweight territory, let me tell you something. I am one crab leg away from motherhood. Like, that shit. <laughs> if you want a heavyweight when you started, you will be when you finish. I gained so much weight on that damn patch. Never again. <laughs> Never. <laughs> The fuck again, but like all summer, my titties about to be out though. Like I got, I'm gonna catch the pregnant. I can't unru outrun it too much longer. You know what I'm saying? The titties gonna be out all summer. You know what I'm saying? I got two more good titty summers left in me before a baby snatches it away. You know what I'm saying? I know God gonna humble me by the titties first. That's all I got. Uh, so I have not one stretch mark. I'm just gonna enjoy these last stretch mark free years. Uh, <laughs> but I'm TikTok famous. Um, please respect me. I should have led with that so y'all knew too. <laughs> I have a bunch of followers on TikTok that is currency out here in these streets. It's amazing. Ironically, I blew up on TikTok doing Harry Potter videos, and I was not allowed to watch Harry Potter videos growing up. Uh, my parents are both pastors, both of them. I was at church all the time. I hated it. They were like, you know, you watch Harry Potter, you're going to hell. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Hell for you, Miss Lady. And I was okay. So I didn't see them moving until two years ago. You know, so these are my fresh thoughts in these videos. Um, but ironically, those same parents of mine made me watch Pimps Up, Holes Down on HBO when I was eight years old. Um, I'm sitting here in the living room like, why am I watching this? Like, don't be a whore, okay? And I was like, sure, okay. I guess it worked because I'm not having sex for money. I'm just talking about having sex for money, amen? Um, but you know what? Those messages stuck with me from Pimps Up, Holes Down because one of the hoes, she was such a nice lady. She said, it ain't easy being a hoe no more. And you know what she write? It ain't. Is it easy being a hoe? No. You know, in this economy? Absolutely not. It's been hard for me. I've been trying to be a hoe for years. I've let Drake down every summer. Okay, you know? Every time I try to go be a hoe, suck some dick or whatever, my dead daddy shows up like Mufasa in the sky and shit. I'll be out like, ah, ah, here he come. Remember who you are. Damn. How did you get in this nigga's house? Oh my God. And it's like when I needed my dad the most, he would never show up. Cause dad, where were you when I was hunching that man on the air mattress, huh? He wasn't there. I needed him. And I try to think about it, like why didn't he show up? But maybe I think he knew that if I got pregnant from air mattress nigga, I wouldn't have kept it. And he wanted to meet one of his grandkids. So it's dark. I know it gets real dark over here. It's dark. You can laugh. It's all right. It's all right. I love my daddy though. I love my daddy. He left me things on this earth, okay? I have an inheritance. I still use his phone number at CVS to get the rewards. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I call generational wealth. You know, that is, that is wealth right there. We need more black fathers, man. Oh, man. I know, I'm talking about my own daddy. I can laugh. Y'all went at the funeral, I was there. You know what I'm saying? He had a real good black funeral. Why black people love having an outfit con concept at the funerals? You know what I'm saying? Like, Lisa was a real big Prince fan, so can y'all all wear purple to the funeral? <laughs> and at the repast, we gonna uh, let out some purple balloons to Purple Rain. Thank y'all so much. <laughs> My daddy was a capital, so we wore red. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I know you guys are wondering, yes, I'm in therapy. Yes, I am. Um, <laughs> 
I'm in therapy. I love my therapist because she remember all my niggas by name. You know what I'm saying? Like all the undergrad. She's like, Gerard, yes, Gerard with the fade. Yes, light skin Gerard. Oh my God. She's great. It's hard being in therapy though when all the people who are the reason you in therapy also are not in therapy. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, I'm the only bitch getting help in this bitch. Everybody need to go to therapy so we can all work together. Um, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> But no, life is looking up for me. Life is getting better. Um, I'm in a relationship now. I have a boyfriend. He's worth a damn. Clap for him. Yeah. Clap for him. Thank you. Yes. He's, he's a king. Um, I'm so used to like following dudes I like and seeing them post their whole families on Christmas with matching pajamas. Like, dang, he got a whole bitch. I'm the whole bitch now. Like, ah! <sighs> yeah, it's great. You know, I don't really support men as an institution, but like, it, it feels good to be on the side for once. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> But what's funny about my boyfriend, he's everything I made fun of in men, because he's short. <laughs> Bless his heart. He's 5'7", so I'm 5'1", I'm so it works. But, you know, it's pros and cons to short men. But the first thing is, short men be getting too drunk. What's, what's up with that? You know what I'm saying? You ever see it? They, the 130 pounds, 20 them pounds be dick. You know what I'm saying? Are they friends just dragging them through the club when they get drunk? Little Nikes getting drugged through the section. And then they want to fight everybody in the fucking club. Like, calm down, scrappy dude. We about to get our ass whooped. What the fuck, you know? It's too much. But on the plus side to short men, first of all, tall men aren't smart. There's not really much going on upstairs, you know? They not. Think about the NBA. They think the earth is flat, you know? LeBron never finishes any of his books. It's just... Love him down, but come on. He be on the first page in every picture. And, you know... <laughs> But with tall men too, like, I can't take a tall man. You know what I'm saying? If he decided to just up and beat my ass one day, he just gonna beat my ass. You know what I'm saying? With a short man, I'm a solid bitch. I'm like 185. I could really take a short nigga. Like, gravity's on my side if that, with that. But a tall nigga, you just gotta shoot them niggas like Wolverine. You know what I'm saying? And I don't really advocate for shooting black men this close to Juneteenth. But, you know what I'm saying? They mutants, you know? So. <laughs> and also, like, with a short king, when I let him drive my car, he don't move my seat. And that's really, what more could a bitch ask for? You know what I'm saying? Like that is the perfect situation right there. Uh, no, but my baby's attractive. My boyfriend, he's really cute. Like, I'm, this is like my first bad bitch for real. Like I ain't really have to explain like everybody choose to know my nigga when I'm out. Like, okay, this is new. I thought it was, I was a cute one. Okay, cool, great. People are like, oh, you guys are a beautiful couple. They talking to him. Like that's like, okay, cool, great. <laughs> And I do have a type though, cause I have a type so hard that my iPhone think all my old niggas is the same nigga. Like, is this Gerard? No, it's not Gerard, damn bitch. Messy ass. <laughs> no, but like my boyfriend's cute enough, I know I'm not the only person who wants to have sex with him. So it's like, I'm probably gonna get cheated on. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm getting cheated on. It's okay, no, y'all don't have to be like shocked. It's cool, like I'm content with it. I'm not leaving him though. I'm not a weak bitch or anything, but I've already picked out a wedding hashtag. <laughs> and his eyes green, so I'm gonna just stick it out. Just see what, you see. I got vision, you know what I'm saying? Y'all gotta play the long game here, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but most importantly, I'm gonna cheat back. That's really, yes, yeah, clap. Like, bitch is like, oh, I, I stuck it through, we made it work, nah, bitch, cheat back. I don't know what we talking about. Like, fuck all that. I'm cheating back, it's lit. You know, I'm still wishing my old niggas happy birthday on Instagram. Congrats to the new job, friends. Like, it's lit, you're like, we, you can't put all your eggs in one basket, you know, you just. Especially, I'm in LA, this wig real long, my booty big, and I'm funny, I can pill, pull anybody. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it's, the possibilities are endless. Where's the cast of the new edition movie? Where they at? Because I'm here, you know what I'm saying? All of them. If y'all know Keith Powers, please let me know. Anyway, um, so, what was I talking about? I'm just thinking about Keith, my God. But anyway, I have a list of famous niggas, like, if I make eye contact, it's on. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'll recite that list of famous niggas, I'm a hunch. Every night, like Arya Stark on Game of Thrones, I just be a bit like, Drake, Damson Idris, the nigga from Moonlight, like it's lit. <laughs> and I just think about like, what am I gonna go from here? You know what I'm saying? Like I may, I'm trying to think of interracial, but I'm like I can't do that. You know what I'm saying? I don't wanna do an interracial couple because we have to have kids, you know? And like, what if I get with an Asian man and we have a kid and that kid grows up and puts Blasian in their Instagram name? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's the kind of shit that keeps me up at night. I don't like, or oh, what if I have kids with a white man and then that mixed child goes and has a kid with another white person and then our quadroon grandchild <laughs> is on TikTok saying nigga and then like, why you saying nigga? And then they're like, oh, my grandma is literally black and then here come my dumb ass in the picture. <laughs> Absolutely not. I'm not doing that shit. I think I may get a younger man though. I think I may get a younger man. That might be my next wave. Uh, nice little 1997 king, you know, little Gen Z TikTok generation. 
Um, I want me somebody so young, he ain't see the Rugrats movie in theaters. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I want me a king so young, he ain't never bought nothing from a Scholastic book fair. You know? <laughs> like, I need me a nigga so young, he had to learn about 9-11 in school. You know, like, that's how I like it. A little whipper snapper. Because I thought about an old man. I can't do no old man. I can't do no old black man. They want you to shut the fuck up. Mm. <laughs> they want you to clean. They want you to cook real food. I can't do that shit. Like hot water, cornbread, and sauce and shit. I ain't making that. Fuck that. I have three dishes. I have chicken alfredo. I have shrimp alfredo. And I have chicken and shrimp alfredo. That's all I got. Thank y'all. I'm Mel Mitchell. Y'all have a good night. <laughs>